Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video you can watch me build a lead gen campaign by using Facebook lead forms. No, I don't waste no time. guys welcome back to the video and like i said in the introduction today we're going to be looking at a lead generation campaign by using facebook lead forms and the great thing about facebook lead forms is the barrier to entry to fill out the form is extremely low so when you've got a lead generation client or you're running a lead generation campaign for your own agency um you've basically got you know, to answer the question, do you want a lot of leads or are you more worried and focused on the quality of leads? With Facebook lead forms, like I said, the barrier to entry is extremely low. Why? Because when the potential lead clicks on the advertisement, they get the pop-up within Facebook, so they don't need to go to a different page or anything like that. It all happens within Facebook with the Facebook lead forms. And the majority of the boxes are already filled out because Facebook pulls out the data of that person, um, you know, that person's Facebook profile and uses that for the form. So for example, let's say you're a, uh, you have a personal trainer client and you're running a lead form for a consultation for a personal trainer. Um, and the form it consists of name, um, so first name, surname, maybe email address and then telephone number. Facebook will automatically pull that data from that profile and have it automatically filled in. And all that person needs to do is click on submit. Then from there, you have their data and that is then uh, a lead. Now that could also, because the barrier to entry is, is so like small and low, um, people can literally just flick on Facebook, uh, you know, be flicking through click on your ads, submit it, and you know, without putting in any extra effort, basically give you their data, which is, you know, it's obviously good, you've got an email address, but the quality isn't really there because that person hasn't really put an effort into, you know, filling out that form, as opposed to a landing page where they manually need to fill out everything. So if you wanna increase the quality of your leads, um, then what I highly recommend you do is add additional questions that they need to fill out. Because if you add specific or custom questions on your lead form, they need to manually fill that in. Whereas you know with the name, the email address, etc., it's already filled up by Facebook. So with the Facebook lead form, if you wanna increase the quality, add more questions. If you want to increase the quality further, you can set up a landing page where they need to fill out everything manually. The more questions you ask, the higher the quality of the lead because they need to put in more effort to fill out the form. If you notice that your cost per lead is going up or you're getting no leads, then what you do is you remove a couple of questions until you find the balance between the right amount of leads with a decent enough quality, okay? Now, what we're going to be doing today is setting up a Facebook lead form. So basically, we're getting we're going to be getting a lot of leads, whereas the quality might not be um, amazing. But what I like to do is start off with the lead form, get in some leads, gauge what the quality is like, and then build it up from there, as opposed to setting up this landing page with 10,000 questions and not getting any leads at all. Okay, so for a lead form, uh, lead generation campaign, we can select lead generation here. If you want to set up a landing page, you can select the conversion um, campaign here. So I usually choose between lead generation for lead forms and conversions for everything else. I no longer use traffic or brand awareness or reach or anything like that. I used to use traffic a lot uh, for my campaigns back in the past, back in 2018, 19. Traffic was a very good metric um, or basically you know, objective to get a lot of traffic onto the page. And then from there, once your pixel has enough data, you can start optimizing a bit more. Now I just go into conversions right off the bat and optimize for purchase or for a custom conversion that I've then set up for my lead generation clients. So for this, we are going to be doing lead generation. Then from there, we can give our campaign a name. So what, I'll, what I usually do is the initials of my agency, Bram Paneer, which is BP, and then basically the objective of the campaign. So in this case, it is lead form. And then what shall we do? Um, what did I mention before? I said personal training, right? So we'll do personal training. So PT, um, and then the form, 
it's basically giving something away that is extremely, again, low barrier to entry. So a free consultation, a free personal training session, a um, free, I don't know, um, diet analysis, anything like that. Just for the sake of arguments or just for, uh, for example purposes, we'll do a free online consultation for personal training. So PT, free consultation. And we're going to be focusing on the UK. Why? Just because. Okay, so we're not going to be creating an A-B test. We are going to be using campaign budget optimization. Our daily budget is going to be 20 euros a day. Why? Because usually that is where we start out at. Campaign bid strategy, just leave at lowest cost. Um, obviously, you know, there is that question. Do we go for manual bidding? Do we add a cost cap? Or do we just do auto bidding? More often than not, I will just leave it at auto bid. Okay, then we can give our ad set a name. So basically, we've got the campaign where we set the objective. The ad set is where we select the audience. And then we've got the ad, which is this one here. That is where we basically create the advertisement itself. So we add an image, we uh, set up the copy and so on and so forth. Facebook page, I'll quickly blur this out for privacy purposes um, and select Brand Panier, which is my... Uh, basically my agency, you've accepted the Facebook lead ad terms. If you have not set up a Facebook ad lead ads before, you will need to accept the terms. Just click on accept, scroll down, and uh, that is done. Then select dynamic creative. And what this will basically allow you to do is upload multiple images at a time or multiple pieces of copy at a time. And then Facebook will pick out the best um best variable basically. Now with Facebook lead uh, forms, you cannot actually use Dynamic Creative for the images, but you can use it for the copy. So the copy being the text that you use um, to get people to click on the ad. So for example, we are now uh, using a personal trainer for a free online consultation. We can use two different angles. We can say, hey, um, do you want to lose weight quickly uh, with the least amount of effort possible? Click here for a free consultation. Obviously, that copy is awful, but just for example purposes. And we can say, hey, do you want to live a healthier lifestyle and have more energy? Um, click here for a free consultation. So two different angles uh, focused on two different types of people. One, that, you know, one person that basically wants to get results without the effort, and one person that it's not necessarily about the results. It's just about being an overall more healthy person. And then what we can do is we can... Um, you know, basically have those two pieces of copy, split test them and let Facebook decide which piece of copy gets the majority of the budget. So let's say we've got a, uh, how much do we have? I think we did 20 euros a day. So 80% uh, of the 20 euros will go to uh, either copy number one or copy number two. And the remainder, the 20%, so the additional four euro will then go to the less performed piece of copy. Why 80-20? Um, again, that was just an example, but I have noticed that usually 80% of the budget will be allocated to the best performing um, variables. So in this case, the two pieces of copy. So one of the two will get 80% of the budget. So we click on, on continue. So like I said, with Dynamic Creative, if you're using the conversion objection, you can also test out different images. Um, the last time I tested a Facebook lead form, I could not test images. I could only do copy. Maybe they've changed things now, but like I said, the last time I did so, I could only uh, use Dynamic Creative for the copy. So now in terms of the form, we are going to select an audience within the ad set. We have not got a custom audience the location. I think I said the UK. Um, or UK or US, I think I did UK, so just do UK now. So United Kingdom. I get a lot of questions about how many countries do you use per, um, you know, within your audience. I usually select just one country. The same goes for interest. I usually only do one interest at a time, unless I know that all of the interests are proven, then I'll set up a proven campaign, if you will, and I'll stack all of the proven interests. So in this case, for example purposes only, let's just pretend that all of the uh, interests that I now add are all proven. I'm gonna stack them all up against each other. In terms of the age, uh, let's say we are focusing on females from 24 to 54. And then the gender. Uh, females. There we go. And they are all interested in weight loss. So we'll add weight loss as a um, detailed targeting. Extreme weight loss. No, just normal weight loss. Uh, there we go. So we've got an audience of 5.4 million, which is decent. Uh, usually I try and get an audience above 1 million um, for stuff like this. If you've got like a local lead generation client with a small audience because it's local in the local bakers, the local restaurants, anything like that, Obviously, it will be smaller, but with something like nationwide, um, 
I always try and find an interest with a potential reach above 1 million. In terms of detailed targeting and expansion, again, this is a common uh, discussion between marketers. I usually leave it off unless I am really struggling for results. So detailed targeting is switched off. Languages um, is basically what people have filled in on their Facebook profile. So if people have specifically you know, filled out Dutch or German or English, then um, if you select that specific language here, that is what will come up. Again, just leave out all languages. Automatic placements or manual placements, um, what I usually do is just leave it on auto because you cannot really f outsmart Facebook's AI, right? Like Facebook knows which um, placement will get you the most amount of leads. For e-commerce, um, with the top of the funnel, I will do manual placements. I will do the Facebook newsfeed and Instagram newsfeed um, and maybe stories if I'm setting up a specific campaign. Uh, manual placements for the top of the funnel and then from the middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel will all be on auto placements because I just want that omnipresence. In this case, just go for automatic placements. Then optimization, obviously we're going for leads, cost control is fine and then continue. And then we move on to the, the ad. So basically the, the um, image, etc. Okay, so we've selected our Facebook page and our Instagram account, and then we can give our ad a name. So again, BP, um, PT, free consultation, free consultation uh, one, for example. Okay, single image, and then we can add our media here. So again, I'll just add a few images for example purposes only. Um, let's see, what can we do? Let's just select this image here. Continue. Okay, so as you can see, one image, and then here is where we create our campaign. Actually, let's just create, let's just have like an actual fitness image, just so it feels a bit more realistic than a few guys, um, you know, sitting around the table having a discussion. So I'll just quickly go to Google, and then we'll just type in uh, weight loss, see what comes up. Be very, very careful when it comes to um, weight loss, guys, in terms of the images on Facebook. A lot of these images will not be allowed. Even the jeans image, um, it will get taken down by Facebook. Um, that was back in the day, that used to be like a little hack. Um, because we're not allowed to say lose 10 pounds of fat, lose anything like this. You know, we cannot show before and after photos like this on Facebook anymore. So a quick hack around that, what a lot of marketers used to use is the basically the jeans example so you can see now what the before and after was by the jeans before the jeans were tight after you know there's a lot of space between the jeans unfortunately even this will get taken down by facebook so that is not allowed um what will be allowed is for example you might be able to get away with that but again i, I don't think so so i will not try it um, let's just, just to speed up this video, let's just pretend we are going for an image. Um, let's just not do weight loss, let's just do fitness and then just do happy, for example. Let's see what comes up. There we go, this guy looks pretty happy. Save image as. Save it to desktop, that is fine. Um, and then remove the image. Add media, add image, upload desktop there we go select the image okay okay so now i've actually noticed see remember when i said we might be able to get away with multiple images as you can see i can select multiple images here because of the dynamic creative so uh i was mistaken my apologies for that you can actually select multiple images with dynamic creative previously and i'm talking about literally like two weeks ago this was not possible so this is a change that facebook has recently made so cutting edge stuff right here guys then the primary text um like i said we can now choose different angles so for example uh, do you want to um hit your health um how can we basically say this without saying lose weight do you want to have more energy and finally fit in those jeans you've been wanting to wear without being overly restrictive with your diet click below for a free online um, free virtual consultation 
and then what we can do is in the description free fitness consultation so they understand that it's about fitness and nutrition let me just see if description is the right one it might be headline i think it's headline actually not description sure if that's a load there we go yeah okay so it was the the headline i was actually mentioning so so the primary text is this and then what we can do is we can add another option and we can say do you want to hit your dream weight goal quickly without giving up on junk food and your beloved pizza i don't know So we've got the energy one, and then we've got the, I want to lose weight quickly without putting in any effort. That might actually get disapproved. We'll have to put it to the test and see what happens. Um, call to action will be to, I think, book now. I think that would be a good, um, a good call to action. And now, because we've got the two pieces of primary text set up, um, Facebook will basically decide which one of the two pieces of text will get the majority of the budgets. Then we can set up our lead form, so we can set up our lead form here. Um, we'll call this BP PT YouTube lead form. Okay, now we can choose the form type, more volume or higher intent. If you have the higher intent, they basically need to accept, um, like there's like an additional page where it says accept info. I usually think it's a bit, it does, doesn't, it's not necessarily, it's just, it's just a bit and basically, so just do more volume. Introduction, so upload an image. Just do the same image for now, just to speed up this video, um, because obviously you, know, you guys know how to upload an image, you don't need to explain that. Enter a headline, free fitness consultation. Paragraph, uh, do you want to know how we can help you reach your dream um, weight goals? Fill out your details below for a free consultation with personal trainer steve i don't know who steve is just for example purposes only now we can add our questions so you can see you can add a custom question here so for example um we can do a appointment request um we can say actually no let, let's not do an appointment request let's do for example a short answer um, do you like, um, or can you, what can we say? Can you work out in a gym three, two to three times per week? Okay, and then you need to say yes or no, basically. So that is obviously something that Facebook can't answer for them. They will need to answer themselves. And then here we can add, um, we can add like fields. Now, full name, um, even though the, Actually, no, never mind. I was going to say do the first name or last name, but this is automatically filled out anyway. So with the landing page, what you can do is you can have first name and last name in two different uh, boxes. And again, that is like a mini barrier again, because they need to go down to the next box and fill out their surname, um, which just makes it a little tiny bit harder. And it's, it's so minuscule, but it will increase the quality. So you can have full name in one box or first name and last name in two separate boxes. Uh, which is usually what I go for. So we've got full name, we've got email, and then we've got a uh, phone number. There we go. And then we can even add something like um, country. No idea why that would be relevant for a personal trainer um, that is doing an online consultation, but you know, what the heck. So full name, email, phone number, and country. And then we need to add a privacy policy. Um, let me just see if I can get mine up, brandpaneer.com, privacy policy, there we go. So you will need, this is like, with manual um like you know mandatory this is what you need to do so link here and then the add the link text here private privacy policy there we go custom disclaimer we'll leave as it is and then this is what the thank you page of our lead form looks like thanks you are all set and then we can have something like um what should we do um actually what we can add this like something like confirm a time so um, click on the button below to confirm a time you'd like to speak to personal trainer Steve. And then what we can do is we can actually have his Calendly link here. Again, we don't actually have 
a calendar link for Steve because Steve doesn't exist, so I just use my calendar link. And then add a link here. And then rather than view website, we can say um, select consultation time. And then the call to action button is view website, that's fine. So if you've got like a PDF or anything like that, you can add that here by saying download. You can even get them to ring the business there and then we'll just do view website. Okay, so that is our lead form. Our lead form is called BPPTYTLF. So publish, um, we, you must let people know how you use their data. Where do I need to fill that in? Here we go. Ah, okay. So fill out your details below so we can contact you about our free or your, your free consultation. Okay, and then publish. There we go. So we've selected the lead form. This is what it looks like. So this is a little preview. As you can see, the custom question there, and then page two is where they fill out their details. Page three is the privacy policy, and when they click on submit, they get the thank you page, and then it basically says consultation time, and they select the button, and then they can basically confirm within Canally. Okay, so that is all set up. Obviously, you know, set up your Facebook pixels, etc. Um, your text contains reference to your personal audience characteristics. As I mentioned, this might actually get disabled. So we'll just quickly move that. Um, let's just see how can we remove this. I'm guessing it's the second one. I think the first one is fine. Um, so do you want to hit your jeans or quickly without giving up on them? Or actually, it might even be finally fit in those jeans. So do you want to have more energy? And let me just get rid of that. And do you want to have more energy? and um, feel like you are more productive without being more productive with your fitness goals without being overly restrictive with your diet. Again, not the best piece of copy, but it's just for example purposes. Um, we've still found one error, so we'll have to quickly change that. You can still click on publish, but it will get taken down. So I do suggest and highly recommend you make the changes there and then. Um, so what we can say is, do you want to, um, do you want to reach your fitness goals sooner rather than later? Um, well, actually, no. So without without saying goodbye to your beloved pizza, will it let us get away with it? Let's just continue with it. But like I said, I would recommend uh, trying to get rid of that form before you continue with it. So confirming your items. This may take a few seconds. So let's see. No, we still cannot get away with this. So we will need to make some changes. Um, what if we just say want more energy? Because even that might be a. Let's see if we can get away with it. Will it allow it? Oh, okay, so there we go. So our form as in review, like I said, it's not approved just yet. Um, with, especially with like fitness, weight loss, nutrition, etc. you need to be very, very careful with what you say because a lot you cannot get away with nowadays. You know, um, Facebook, the number one priority is the user experience. And, you know, nowadays there is a lot of opinions and debate about um you know, things like this, I, I didn't even want to get into it myself. So you need to be very careful with it. And Facebook is also being very careful with it. So that is why a lot of things will not get approved. And then basically from there, you've now created your lead form and you can see your lead form in the lead center. So I will blur out a lot of this because of um, privacy reasons. But as you can see, these are the leads that have come through. Um, and as you can see on the top, so this is the lead center within your Facebook page. So if you go to uh, the Facebook page, you'll see this, um, it'll say lead center above, or if you go to like publishing tools, it'll say lead center as well. And then you've got your raw leads, uh, you've got your in progress leads here, your interest leads and your converted leads. 
um, and then basically you'll have the name, the email address, the phone number, etc., all here, and you can select stages as well. So this is like your mini CRM system in the Facebook lead center. So let's say you get a bunch of leads of um, people that are not necessarily serious about the free consultation, then you can add them to, um, or you can add, keep them in raw leads, or you can select bad leads or anything like that. Or if you've got a specific um, set of leads that have booked that call with you, you can set them, uh, add them to like a new tab, etc., as well. So uh, this is where you can see where the leads come in. And um, as you can see, it's on all forms now. So all the forms connected to the Brandpreneur page will be selected here. Um, but we can also select, uh, as soon as that ad is approved, you can basically select the uh, the phone that we've just created, which would be BPYT, PT, etc. So that is where we can see the form. Now, another way of doing this, because I'm not a big fan of the Facebook Lead Center, is we can also set up a zap that um, you know, gives you a notification every single time a person uh, becomes a lead. Or we can also send that person an email every single time that person becomes a lead. So go to Zapier, give your zap a name, um, BP YouTube Test, uh, Facebook Lead Ads, select the trigger, which is obviously new leads, continue. Facebook lead account, uh, just let me quickly select the account that I'm using. Uh, for those of you who are wondering why my Facebook page is called MD Jahid Hassan, um, long story, you know, those that are in the, the Facebook group uh, or the, the, the coaching group will know why I've got multiple accounts and this is one of them. So again, I will blur this out for privacy purposes, but um, I'll just quickly select the form that I've just created. Um, let me just see where is it? Ah, there we go, the Brampanair one. So the form, let me see if we can already, so as you can see here, the form is already available here, so I'm guessing it's either in review or it's already approved. So BP, YT, uh, PT, LF, continue. So what we've now told Zapier is if a lead comes in, we want Zapier to do something. And what we want them to do is send moi an email. So select, a, so send an email with Gmail, that's fine. Gmail account, you can use my own Gmail for this. So I'll basically be sending myself an email every single time. So to, which is going to be me. So to joshua at Um And then from, obviously, my Gmail. Uh, from name, we can just say Brampaneer. Um, and then subject, new lead for your um, PT clients, for example. New leads for PT client Steve. And then um, you can add our text here. So, new lead has come in for PT client Steve. And um, the lead used the. So, um, what we can do is show options. Um, let's see, actually, we might have to test this so we can test trigger so we can get like the data there we go so even though it's dummy data at least now zapier has the data to work with so yeah continue with that that is all fine and then we can continue here so as you can see here full name so i don't know john smith has um become a lead and has given us the following email address and phone number. Okay, so now it will basically say John Smith has become a lead and has given us the following email address john at smith.com and phone number plus seven seven nine 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 nine. So the, these um, items are dynamic. So every single time a new lead comes in, that will change and you'll get a new email every single time. Signature, etc. You can just leave all that as is. Continue. And then we can even test and continue to show you guys what that looks like. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. So new lead for your PT client, Steve, new lead. And this is what you'll get every single time a new lead comes in with your Facebook lead form. So hope you got something out of this. Hope you found this useful. Leave a comment down below if you use Facebook lead forms for your own clients. For those of you that have their own agency and want to take it to the next level or are struggling to get their first clients and actually want to get their agency up and running, I do have my own coaching program. If you're interested in that, uh, what you can do is schedule a free call with either me or my head of operations, Elliot. It'll all be linked in the description box down below. 
If for those of you that have watched to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Please leave this video with a thumbs up. It really does help this channel grow. And subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll see you all in the next video.